Hey guys, so lately I've been literally obsessed with raw vegan brownies and then I saw and I don't have a recipe here on my channel for raw vegan brownies So I said hey, you know what? I have to do a recipe These are my favorite on-the-go snacks if I'm traveling or if I'm just gonna be out and about because it's packed with good calories It's sweet it satiates me and it's just absolutely delicious. So if you're ever having a craving for chocolate or just want something sweet but healthy, this is the recipe for you. First is gonna be 15 dates. Dates are a great source of fiber and it's a great sweetener too. So if you ever wanna sweeten a smoothie, use dates. Just make sure that you pre-soak your dates in water, that way it'll be easier to blend. I'm gonna use one cup of almond meal, which is basically just almonds made into like a flour kind of form. But if you don't have this, it's fine. Just make sure you first process the almonds. So use about a cup to a cup and a half, and then add the rest of the ingredients. Honestly, you can use whatever nut you want. You can even use cashews, or you can use a blend of each. Next, I'm gonna use four tablespoons of cacao powder, but this is depending on how bitter you want it. Cacao tends to be a little bit like sweet and bitter, so if you want it less, then I would just use like two or three. You can also use cara powder as well. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of maca powder, and maca powder is excellent for regulating your hormones, keeping your body healthy, and also helping you keep a healthy body weight as well. Uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla powder, and finally, we're just gonna add a little pinch of salt. We're gonna put all of these ingredients in the food processor, and ready? Let's do this. and you're gonna process them to the point where it's gonna become like a ball. This is gonna help make your brownies really chewy. If you like them more crunchier with nuts in them, then I would process them for less time. You guys have to try this like before you put it in a pan and before you put it in the freezer, just try it. It's delightful. You put it in a pan and we're gonna make it into kind of like a square. You can use a spatula, your hands. Just the brownies like this taste amazing. But an option is that you can just add like a ganache on top. I'm gonna use my raw vegan chocolate pudding and I have a recipe for that here on my channel and I will leave the link to that video in the description of this video, okay? So we're gonna add that on top and once that's ready, you put it into the freezer for about an hour and voila! Honestly, doesn't this look perfect? And you know what? I was actually thinking of the recipe right now. And if you make it with like a mix of nuts, I think that would taste really, really good too. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. 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 Wow. Wow. It's so good! <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Honestly, you guys, this recipe is bomb. And the best part is that it's super easy to make and you can take it anywhere with your friends, your family. Everyone's gonna love it, I promise you. So that's basically it. Don't forget, if you make this recipe, please tag me on Instagram, at Ravana, hashtag Ravana, uh, so I can see your pictures and like it. And also send me a Snapchat if you make this, at Ravana, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Like my video, share it, and follow me everywhere. You can see it right here, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah! Fruity kisses, love, hugs, and peace. Bye!